guys, how's it going? So today is what is your craving for the shoestring congress? Um, well, I just watched Neil's video, so needless to say, I was pretty down for a Philly cheesesteak up until he started saying cheese whiz, and I'm like, whoa, cheese whiz? Ugh, I hate cheese whiz. I hate American cheese. Um, I like real cheese, so that like grossed me out. As soon as I started thinking about that, I'm like, I don't want that anymore. Um, I think like my usual 100% go-to is a pesto, real mozzarella um, pizza. Pesto mozzarella pizza, maybe with like chicken or mushrooms on it. But like anytime I'm really, really hungry, the first thing that I want is like a pizza or something with dough or something with bread or something with meat. <laughs> I have like, most of the time, like grilled cheese, real cheese, like a Gouda on rye or something with real butter. Um, I'm trying to think of like a Canadian thing that also sometimes I crave. I can't really think of anything. We don't have very good food. Um, I've never really craved a poutine. I don't really like fries and I don't really like, eh. Yeah, so I guess that. Um, when I was living in LA, I guess I'll do a food um, that I actually started craving when I got back here was like good Mexican food. There was this place around the corner from where I lived in um, Winnetka and it was like authentic, authentic Mexican food and they all spoke Spanish in there and I'm from Canada. That's not the second language that we would learn. We learned French. So they'd be calling out numbers and like the whole menu was in Spanish and I'm like, um, give me something good. I usually got these like I don't know what they were. They were really good though. And then the like one guy who calls out the order, obviously he called it out in Spanish and I'm like, shit, is that my number? Nobody's going up there. And I showed him the ticket real slow like that. And he's like, yeah. And then he, kn he knew English. So he started talking to me in English. He's like, so you're not from here? I'm like, no, I'm from Canada. Second language is French. Don't know what you're saying. I can count up to 10 in Spanish, but I can't go any further than that. My number was like 82 or something, but yeah. I was really craving that. I'm actually kind of craving it now that I'm talking about it. So good. It was really like, it wasn't super expensive. It was really good. And then there was this thing um, from, oh shit, Corner Bakery that I got one day. And when I was sitting with Maddie and Darren, I'm like, just fucking take a bite of this. It's the most amazing sandwich you've ever had. And it was like a chicken pomodori or something. And like Darren had a bite of it and then he was like completely sold. He got it like the next day or day of, and then he's like, every time he would get one, if I wasn't at the office, he'd be like, getting a sandwich. And I'm like, yeah, because they're amazing. Um, I can't remember what was in that. I know it was like chicken and cheese, because everything that I like has cheese and chicken. Um, garlic, I think. There was like, I don't know, bread. It was like a panini. So good. Um, but I definitely think my go-to is pizza. I love pizza. There's this place like down the road. Uh, Marconi's, they have like perfected the thin crust. Oh my God, it's oh, so good. And like, I don't usually like pepperoni on my pizza, but they have also perfected pepperoni. Like it is God's pepperoni. <laughs> so good. Oh my God, now I'm really hungry. Um, yeah. Food cravings are bad. I hate having food cravings because then I'm like, well, I could be on a diet. I could be eating healthy or I could eat all this cheese and bread. Yeah. Oh, well. Sure, one day it'll catch up to me. Not today. Today is not that day. <laughs> but yeah, that's my craving. Um, I think we're taking a little break for Christmas and New Year's and everything. So people are going back home and want to spend time with their families. So I'll see you guys when I see you. It'll be in, in it'll be in 2013, unless we die tomorrow, but I doubt it. So hope you guys have a good Christmas. Hope you guys have a good New Year's and enjoy spending time with your families and get lots of shit that you want or whatever. Bye.